The COVID-19 crisis reversed much of the global economy's progress on poverty reduction, as was experienced firsthand here in Sri Lanka. On the heels of a weak recovery from the COVID-19 crisis, an ongoing war in Ukraine and other geopolitical tensions are combining to disrupt global supply chains once again. And we are now on the cusp of a second global recession within a single decade. The current growth forecasts estimate that global economic growth is expected to decelerate to 1.7% this year and 2.7% in 2024. The situation in the U.S. and EU, two of Sri Lanka's key export markets, is even more dire, with a forecasted growth of 0.5% in 2023 and 1.5% in 2024. Trade volumes are expected to reflect the weakening demand conditions, with global trade growth slowing to 1.6% this year and 3.4% in 2024. Perhaps, you know, even more concerning is the overall dampening of longer term growth prospects beyond the horizon of the impending recession. And we see this reflected in export performance as well. Sri Lanka's trade growth has largely followed the path of global trends with a bounce after the worst of the COVID-19 crisis came to an end. While exports have fared reasonably well with a far smaller contraction than others over the past year. In terms of uh, logistics, all these reduced volumes, both import and export, have a very direct impact on all connected services in shipping lines, be it shipping lines, uh, container freight stations, container storage yards, bonded warehouses, cargo transporters, container hauliers, warehouse operators. Uh, also, you know, who only store goods but provide value-added services as well. So Sri Lanka's connections, trade, investment, digital and people, as can be seen from this graph, are narrower and to a large extent shallower than its competitors. You know, that right now with this shift in demand, there's massive pressure on cost and margin. Um, and, you know, Sri Lanka is, you know, keeps saying Sri is not the cheap place to make. And we are struggling to, to be competitive. Global trade is indeed slowing, but Asia um, is a bright spot for Sri Lanka. The second message is that uh, within this issue of Asia, uh, Asia is trading a lot more and investing a lot more with itself, and this provides many opportunities also for Sri Lanka. Uh, 